With over 600 islands spread across 1 million square miles of ocean in the Western Pacific, the Federated States of Micronesia stands out with its pristine waters, majestic wreck-filled dives, and ancient ruins. But like most island nations in the Pacific, FSM is at the forefront of the climate crisis. The effects of climate change are exacerbating the difficulties experienced by outer island communities in accessing safe, potable water, especially during severe droughts. Communities living in the outer islands of Chuk State, namely Polowat, Pulasuk, and Pulap, are responding to the climate crisis by actively participating in the design, installation, and maintenance of water security measures needed to address the difficulties in sourcing and supplying clean drinking water. Since 2019, the European Union-funded Global Climate Change Alliance Plus Scaling Up Pacific Adaptation Project has been working with national agencies and partners in the Federated States of Micronesia to enhance the water security sector in outer islands. Benefiting more than 3,000 people, the Scaling Up efforts of the GCCA Plus Super Project are anchored in a checklist called PLANET that ensures maximum inclusion, equitable benefits and sustainability. PLANET stands for participation, linked to rights, accountability, non-discrimination, empowerment, and transforming social norms. In Poloat, Pulusuk and Pulup, the project adopted this participatory and inclusive community-driven approach that allowed for more engagement with local people in the decision-making process through consultations and implementation. These consultations helped inform the selection of the community shelters and buildings to install and upgrade rainwater harvesting systems. A successful project involved having community members actively participate in the design of the measure, their installation, and the maintenance of any given project. The FSM GCCA Plus Super Project Implementation valued the community's engagement throughout the entirety of the project. This was done throughout continuous consultation with the community on the design of the project, which really helped build community ownership for the project, as well as building community awareness and engagement towards the design of the project. This consultation were done as well with the stakeholder, which helped build their awareness, as well as gauge support from the local, state, and the national government of the country. In 2020, border restrictions caused by the global COVID-19 pandemic presented many challenges to the global supply chains and trade. Despite this, the implementation of the GCCA Plus Super Project in FSM continued on track, although with some modifications. In addition to the challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic, high shipping costs, availability of materials locally, and the delivery of materials to these distant islands in Chuk were a growing issue. However, consultations with chiefs, men and women allowed the communities in these islands to make recommendations for the temporary installation of rainwater harvesting tanks to address the needs of the community while waiting for the project to take its full course. Illustrating the flexibility of the project, a temporary installation of two tanks per island was carried out in June 2022 to also assist in the supply of rainwater to local communities during the upcoming North Pacific typhoon season. All six temporary installations were done by the project team with the assistance of the local communities. In the context of uh, any community, it has to be practical and flexible to accommodate uh, their priorities and needs. The uh, SUPA project is evidence of this intervention. It's uh, constant problem solving. Uh, and that what, uh, that's what makes this project unique because it evolves around uh, what matters most to these people. And our organization is here to serve uh, that. You know, during our assessments, we noticed that there were enough resources to, uh, you know, assist us with our project. So the temporary installations was uh, really meant for that. Uh, at the same time, 
you know, also going back to these uh, communities uh, because uh, they do really prioritize uh, the need for water. So we decided to provide the temporary for them while they're waiting for the major project to be there. We start uh, giving them something uh, to work, uh, to use, you know, to utilize them. To bolster local capacity that will help scale up community resilience to water stress and climate-related extreme events in Chuk State, more than 15 community members participated in a three-day upskilling training in November 2022. The aim of the training was to give participants a fair idea of how to install and maintain rainwater harvesting tanks in Weno, an island municipality of Chuk State in the FSM. The hands-on training provided the participants with the skill set and knowledge in constructing a concrete base for the tanks and the installation of the different components of the rainwater harvesting systems. That I liked most about the training is it was very much hands-on training. So we got to the point to understand really what to do. I'm sure the system will provide very much for the community. Uh, the struggle today with the unstable weather patterns. With the two tanks, I'm sure the community will benefit very well from this. I guess perhaps one practical reason for having that training was you know, believing in people's potential uh, and by adding value to them, uh, their potential increases and that creates a win for everyone as a team. Adopting a people-centered approach in the design and implementation of the project was the driving factor that allowed equal and inclusive representation of people in the decision-making process. Decisions made through various community consultations allowed for a more flexible outcome that ensured local ownership of the project in FSM.